Hello and welcome to Infinity. I've got a free giveaway for you and it is 50, yes, 55 zero macros, but they are extremely simple and they're all very, very, very similar. So let's have a look at them. What they're about is color grading, which means changing the colors that are used within a picture. And we'll do some examples later, but I'm going to whiz through them first. You can get it from the link below or go just go to the resources pages, also link below and look for HSL color grading and you can download from there. And here you get into the library, which you get through View Studio. And then in with this, you can go to this one here and import macros from that. Or you can simply drag and drop onto this area here the macro file and it'll pop up down here. Then when we open it, we've got these and these just go on for quite a while. And we'll, we'll get through the idea of them. But first of all, let's just take one and show how it works. And they all work in a very, very similar way. So let's start with the red cyan complementary one here. As you can see, you've got red now here, cyan down here, and they're complementary because they're opposite one another. And all that's been done is that the magentas through to the yellows have been pushed so that they're red. So where you had magenta for, you're going to get red. Where you had yellow, you're going to get red. And likewise down here with cyan. If we look at the HSL control, you can see how it works. It's very simple, which is we use these controls here, which means effectively when you click one of these, it selects an area of the picture which matches the color here which is red with a bit of fade off either side. And then it changes that, H, uh, that hue there. I don't touch the saturation or luminosity at all. And so when I get to the yellow, you can see there it's been shifted over here 60 degrees. And this is quite simply between red and yellow, there are 60 degrees. So we just work on that all the way through. Again, there's minus 60 that side and so on. You could do it more yourself and you can vary each time, but this is just for convenience. It's quick and it's easy. Um, so we'll look at the others and you'll see very much what you got. And the way to sort of snap through them is, is we have one hand on the mouse clicking through and the other one on the delete key. So you just delete each time. So there's green, magenta. Uh, then when you get to the tertiary colors, you, it's not perfect here because there are only six controls and you can't get the same level of split that you get with the primary and secondary colors because those are the six controls you've got. But you can overlap them effectively. So when I do orange teal, it says there's three here. Orange teal min or minimum. You're going to get some orange up here, but there's more left either side and teal down here. But if I delete that and do orange teal warm, you can see here it's spread it out more to one side. And it couldn't really go the other way without bumping into the teal. So that gives you one way. And unsurprisingly, if I delete that and put the, where it says cool, the warm and cool are just labels. I I just made them up for something. Don't think of it as that all warm and cool, but it just gives you an idea of, you know, one or the other. So here I've got it this way. So when it's tilted this way on the cool, effectively the green is now going to be orange. You're able to tilt it the other way. Magenta would be orange. So the magenta and the green are going to be quite different each time. They're going to be opposites. And the same plays through then with lime violet and spring rose. After this, we get to triadics, which are three colours, which you see here. So it's red, green, blue. So I click on that. And you can see here, I've got reds here, greens here and blues and a bit of tertiary colours in between them. Whereas I go cyan, magenta and yellow, same effect like this. And orange, spring and violet. I've got there, so I've effectively got the tertiary colours that way around as well. Now then, what I've got here as well is individual ones. So red triadic, you just the main primary colors are dropped into red and you get you know along with this some change happens around here so green triadic the same blue is the same then you've got cyan magenta and yellow which are the secondary colors so again the cyan magenta and yellow then down here we've got so what i've called split analogous it does not exactly it but it's kind of similar to it 
So this one here, if I do red natural, because there's two for each color here. So red natural split, I've got red all the way around here. And then the colors here are in their original positions. So there's nothing changed as much from here, except there's a push down a little bit. So the violets, uh, sorry, this violets become uh, the, um, that's magenta, but the others are the same. The blue and the green are the same. But if I go to red compressed, now it's pushed the others down further. So now I've got the rose is over here and the other colors are down here, but the red has taken over the top. So it pushes, this is more squeeze the colors into this. And you get the same effect all the way down with these. You through each one is in a pair. And then just for fun, I put four at the bottom. So here is more on the blues and cyans and so on. Fire is more reds and yellows and things. Earth is more the yellows and greens. And water is the blues and purples. There we go. But you could do the same sort of thing. When, you know, when you, you just you can look at this. You can investigate any one of these. Right. Let's start trying things, but with real pictures. So here I've got people. And one of the look at people here, the, the very common ones they use is cyan and and uh, sorry orange and teal. If I drop the orange and teal basic one on here. Look at this. You could think, oh, the faces have gone yellow. Why have the faces gone yellow? And it's because, and this is why you need to understand what's going on with it, or it helps. You don't have to understand, but you can play with it. But what's going on here is where I've got the red here, for example. It's selected the red area and it has tilted that red down in this direction to be more orange. The yellows, you know, is tilted there to be more orange and so on. So they're putting orange in, but look what look what happens here. If I take this one here from minus 30 and bring this back, see it's taken that red tilt out. So I've gone back to the reds here. Now there's a more natural color. So you might need to play around with this. What you can do as well with this is simply use a blend mode. So I go down here to overlay and now, or slightly not as strong as that. And go to soft light and you can see there the effect that you're getting this. Also notice the way it doesn't affect whites uh, or blacks. It, the, and the teal here has, has affected these things over here so it, it finds a colour and it sort of adds more to it. Which is why when I went to reds um, and took that out because it looked for reds here and it tilted it away from red to, to the orange which has got more yellow in it which is why these went yellow. So you can play around with this. You can even tweak these. You can grab one. You can you can literally tilt these around so you can treat this as a starting position or you can just click through until you see something that you quite like. So what else have we got here? Here's a colour one. Let's try the triadics on here. So if I click red, green and blue on this, it's going to intensify the reds and greens and the blues. So I can turn this on and off. You can see on, off. Because this is pretty much an RGB type picture. But what you notice here is this here went red. And that's because of the yellows in here. So if I go to the yellows, you see the yellows have been pushed to red and you get yellows in foliage. So I can just play with this one here and say I'm adjusting those yellows there and bring I can bring it back to its normal colour or even go the other way and make it more green. I can also do colour change with these. So if I click on something like um, cyan magenta, here we go, we're changing colours. If those things are anything by this is, is a bit much, all you do is turn down a pasty. So you can always just push things just a little bit. But the thing to do is to literally just go down these in, in your oops, <laughs> your um, try them out, don't like it, delete, try it, delete it, try it, delete it, until you go, oh, that's interesting, and then start playing with it. Okay, look, let's just do one more picture here, and let's just go down to these um, split ones here. So if I go here, I've got a very much a green and blue one, so I look down here, 
Um, shall I try the green one? Try the drying green. Oh, that's quite intense there. But I can turn down this and just bring it up a little bit. So I'm pushing the greens there and all the other colours all seem to be OK. Oh, we can delete that and say, let's put it on. Just try something unusual. Why not try the magenta one and see what happens there? So I've got magenta in the sky there. Maybe pull down the opacity here. Or what else could I try? Yellow. See what happens here, by the way. See the house has gone yellow. I want to keep that house. So I simply go up here and go, where's the red one here? I want to adjust that. I'll just go here and just type zero into that. And there you go. The reds come back into the house. So there you go. There's all those things here. Uh, and you can even play around with the end. Let's have a quick look at one of these. What can you do here? Again, look at this. It's got, you know, I've brought a bit of autumn into here. You know, a bit of, what about earth? That's got more green. That's quite a natural one, isn't it? See, on and off. That's, you can hardly notice, but it has tweaked it interestingly. Right, that's enough. I've been through all of those. And I'll leave you to play with them and hopefully find some use. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.